video is going to be about how to heat and apply comfort lining. First off, you want to get a small pot and you want to boil some water. This is easy. Just pretend you're going to be boiling some tea bags. My water is already boiling, so I'm going to set my timer. And I'm going to set it for 15 minutes, necessarily. I don't usually have to heat it this long. But for this video, we're going to. Now, I'm going to take my tube of comfort lining, which is a used tube, as you can see. This is my own personal tube. I want to make sure that my cap is completely on. And it is. It's on tight. Why do we want to make sure the cap is on? Because you do not want to get water inside the tube. Then, I want to make sure that my key is in place. Now, if you're using a new tube, you won't need a key at first. Maybe the third time that you use your comfort lining will you need your key. I'm going to gently place my tube in the boiling water. Then I'm going to lower the heat down to about medium, medium low. I don't need it to continue boiling for this, for this amount of time. So I'm going to keep my tube in here for about 10 to 15 minutes. And when my timer goes off, then I can apply my comfort lining. Stay tuned. Okay, I'm back. It's been actually only 10 minutes because I know that I don't have a brand new tube and I know that I can heat my product up in just 10 full minutes in boiling water. Now don't be afraid. The tube is not going to melt and the key's not going to melt, so don't be afraid. It's actually made for this. Okay. Stay tuned because we're now going to apply the comfort lining. All right, I'm back. We are now going to apply our comfort lining. But first, we want to make sure that our tube is dry. I'm twisting the key up, making sure it's ready to go. I'm going to dry my tube. I'm going to twist it all the way up. I'm going to take my cap off. Per instructions, it says get around the chop area. So I want to make sure I get my cream in the chop area and the two lines right there. I'm going to make sure to put my cap back on. I'm going to take my mold. And I notice I need a little bit more. I'm going to put a little bit more here. And I feel that I need some more here. I'm going to put my cap back on. And I made that mold. Now, I have a little bit left over, as you can see here. This I would cut off with the scissors. But I've got it pretty much covered. Now we're going to do the lower denture. Lower denture is actually easier to do than the upper. Usually get your key tight to take a cap. And you're going to want to start from this end right here, from the end, and then hold it down, and then just go along the horseshoe. Place in your mouth. And voila. 
have a little bit overlapping, which that's easily can be removed by with some scissors. You can even press down on areas that you think are up too much. And again, if you need to add a little bit more, you can, just simply by placing it wherever you need it to be. You can even add it like this. And you're good to go. Nice and shiny. Now let this sit out for about five or 10 minutes because you wanna make sure that the adhesive is set before you go ahead and wear it. Now we can show you how comfort lining is now waterproof and acts as a cushion for your denture. Stay tuned. Oh, hey there. Oh, that's right. I was gonna show you how comfort lining acts as a waterproof barrier and a cushion. I have stuck my bottom lower denture into my denture bath with the comfort lining on it. Comfort lining is still on my denture as tight as it was when I put it on there. So it will not come off. You could soak your dentures overnight. You can soak them for a week long if you want and comfort lining will still be on your denture. Just make sure that you don't soak your dentures in boiling hot water or your comfort lining will come off. So when we're ready to remove the comfort lining, we're simply going to stick our dentures under the hot water and then we can easily peel this back and it comes right off. But until then, this video is at its end. Thank you for watching.